So there are three components or three constituents of folic acid. Pyridine. Pyridine is attached with PABA and PABA is attached with glutamic acid. Okay. So uh, our body cannot synthesize it. And uh, if uh, if they somebody asks you that why our body cannot synthesize it, so you can say that in our body we cannot synthesize PABA or para amino benzoic acid. This part we cannot make. We cannot make para amino benzoic acid. So if we cannot make one part, we cannot make whole folic acid. Okay. And the second thing is that there is a no facility here. What do I mean by facility? There is a facility here in this room to deliver a lecture. What is the facility? This computer. Okay. So there is no facility in our body to attach this glutamic acid with para amino benzoic acid. Okay. So there are two deficiencies in our body. One is that we cannot make para amino benzoic acid PABA cannot be synthesized in human body. Number one. Number two, PABA cannot be attached with glutamic acids. If for example, somebody says, somebody says that, okay, our body cannot synthesize PABA, we can take from, uh, from uh, outside, okay? So then there is a no, no way that glutamic acid should attach with PABA. So there are two deficiencies. One is that uh, we don't make PABA in our body, number one. Number two, if we take through the diet, PABA, PABA cannot be attached with glutamic acid in our body. So we have to take whole folic acid through the diet. Through the diet or through the pharmacy, we take folic acid to, to take it. Okay. Uh, here you see how many molecules of glutamic acid are attached. How many molecules? Glutamic acid. There is a structure. How many molecules of glutamic acid is attached? Glute glutamate or glutamic acid is same. How many molecules? One. One. It's a one. <laughs> you see, it's one. It's one molecule. Okay. The next slide. The next slide is about it. Because if we attach here, what, what, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we call it polyglutamate, polyglutamate, polyglutamate. So this is polyglutamate is found in plants, in, in plants, shatter, okay? For five, uh, if there are seven, <coughs> there are seven glutamic acids attached, one here, one here, one here, one here. So this uh, polyglutamate is found in in plants, in our liver or in other animals, in other animals or in our liver, we have folic acid which have five glutamate, which have five glutamate. So my next slide is about this. Um, this is a polypeptide chain of seven glutamate. Seven glutamate. Seven glutamate means. Uh, there are, uh, instead of uh, one, there are six more. There are six more in the, in the plants. And uh, in the liver, there is, a, there is folic acid which have five glutamate. So there is a difference between, uh, between plants and uh, in, uh, in animal liver. So uh, five glutamate. Penta, penta mean five. Penta means fives. Penta, penta. So, uh, wh wh what did I say? Folic acid has three constituents: pyridine, PABA, and glutamic acid. Okay. So, in plants, in which form it is found? There are seven, seven glutamate, and in the liver there are five glutamate. You already said that folic acid, you have to take it from outside with that, yes? So... In the plants? Yeah, you mean the, you mean the folic acid which 
which, which is storage and level is 5. Yeah, yeah, this is in the next slide, so I, I, I skipped that. You are right. You are right. So, uh, it is a stored form. Yes, we, we cannot synthesize in our body. Okay? Uh, when we take uh, seven, seven, it's called tyroyl polyglutamate. This is found in the, this, this is found in the plants. Okay? When we take it, when we take it, in our intestine, there is enzyme, specific intestinal enzymes, which convert it into monoglutamate. I mean, they, they, it cut it, it cut it, and only six are removed. Six uh, molecules of glutamic acid are removed, then remain only one. That is called monoglutamate. Monoglutamate. Okay? So, uh, the, the, this is... Uh, this is called uh, 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 the, the, this is called folic acid. Okay, folic acid. What is this? Teridine, para aminobenzoic acid, and one molecule of glutamic acid. Initially, if the how how many were there? Seven. Because we are taking plants, we are taking fruits, we are taking uh, uh, vegetables, we are taking uh, uh, taking anything uh, uh, plant origin. So we are taking seven. That is called the tyroyl polyglutamate. Tyroyl, tyroyl polyglutamate. Okay, we have taken it. It gone to intestine, and there is there are enzymes which convert it into mono. Mon. Six are six molecules of glutamic acid are glutamate are removed. Okay, so this is uh, the, the, this is with one. This is called folic acid. All right, now. This is very, very, very important enzyme, folate reductase. Folate reductase. Listen it very carefully. This is such a important enzyme that it is involved in anemia, it is involved in cancer, therapy, and other things like that. I will, I will explain. Okay. So, what is this enzyme? Folic acid is made by intestinal enzymes. It absorbs in our body, then what happens that when it goes to the cells, uh, folic acid, folic acid is converted into dihydrofluoric acid, uh, folic acid, dihydrofolic acid. What do I mean by dihydro? Two hydrogens are attached. Two hydrogens are attached. Added. Two hydrogens are added in this folic acid. So this becomes dihydro. Di means two. Dihydrofolate. And then again, same enzyme, same enzyme, uh, put more two hydrogen in it, and this becomes a tetrahydrofolate, tetrahydrofolic acid, tetrahydrofolic acid. Okay, so uh, this is the active form, tetrahydrofluoric acid is the active form in our body. It uh, is a coenzyme of many enzymes. It is directly involved in many reactions, biological reactions. Uh, mainly, uh, the, there are uh, the things in next slides, but I am telling you here that uh, mainly, mainly uh, in cancer chemotherapy, in cancer chemotherapy, we, we inhibit this enzyme, folate reductase, folate reductase. We, we, we made it, uh, we inhibit it. We stop it working in chemotherapy of cancer. Why? Because uh, in the, uh, in cancer, there are rapidly, rapid, rapidly dividing cells. The cells are divided very rapid, very rapid. So when the cells are divided very rapidly, the the cells need DNA. The cells need DNA. DNA needs purines and pyrimidines. Okay. DNA needs what? Adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine. Okay? So, this is involved in the synthesis. This, uh, this uh, tetrahydrofolate is involved in the synthesis of DNA. In the synthesis of DNA. So, if we, if we will stop, if, we, if, if there will be no tetrahydrofolic acid, then there will be no DNA. Then there will be no DNA. No cell division. No cell division. So we, what, uh, what we want uh, to cure, uh, what we want to treat in the cancer? 
were rapid. We will stop rapid growth of the cells. Rapid growth of the cells. Rapid division of the cells. We want to slow that. So how we will slow? We will uh, slow DNA synthesis. We will slow DNA synthesis. And for that, how we will stop DNA synthesis? We cannot say that, okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. DNA cannot be stopped like this. Okay? The DNA will be stopped by inhibiting the tetrahydrofolic acid. Tetrahydrofolic acid. Okay? So if there is a no tetrahydrofolic acid, there will be no DNA. And there will be no rapid growth of the cells. So the cancer cells will be cancer cells will be uh, will, will be cured. Will will be slowed down. Their, their rapid growth, their rapid division will be slowed down. All right. Uh, Rather, what's your name? Okay. Yeah. Put out from your mouth. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, that, that this uh, how we will uh, how we will inhibit. We normally we in chemotherapy now there are two other things, but uh, methotrexate is common. Methotrexate is common for chemotherapy. So we 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 give methotrexate. When we give methotrexate, it inhibits this enzyme. Folic folate reductase. Folate reductase. It inhibits this enzyme. Folate reductase. When it inhibits folate reductase, this enzyme, this enzyme, there will be no tetrahydrofolate. There will be no tetrahydrofolate. So when there will be no tetrahydrofolate, no DNA, no DNA and uh, the cancer cells will be slowed down. This is the philosophy. Okay, so is folic acid important? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this process converting of folic acid to the the hydrofolic acid. Is that occurring in the, in the cells? Cells, cells, in the cells, yes. Uh, let's uh, to summarize up till here. We have taken, we have taken the plants, uh, plant uh, pteroid polyglutamate. What is the folic acid there? Pteroid polyglutamate. We have taken it, it goes to intestine. In the intestine, six molecules of glutamate is removed. There uh, remains one. Then there is enzyme in the it is it absorb go to the cells in our body and uh, they, in the cells there is enzyme folate reductase it puts two hydrogen on it it uh, convert it into dihydrofolate then again the same enzyme put more two hydrogen in it and convert it into tetrahydrofolic acid tetra means four hyd four hydrogen. So uh, this one folic acid is the same as uh, the mono. Mono, mono, yeah. The only difference is uh, the only difference between plants in liver sto store and uh, the circulating is that uh, the, the, the number of glutamate, the number of, number of glutamate or glutamic acid, the same thing, glutamate or glutamic acid, same. So number of, if there is a one, it will be folic acid. If there is a five, which is stored in the liver, it is called pentaglutamate. And if there are, uh, uh, we are taking uh, through the diet and it goes to the intestine, plant origin or vegetable or fruits, whatever. So this is tyroid polyglutamate. Tyroid, tyroid from pteridine. Tyroid polyglutamate. Poly means many. Okay? Tyroid polyglutamate. Tyroidine and PAB? Hmm? No, no, PAB is different. Yeah, but in the name, they, they, they call it tetroid. Okay, should we go ahead? Yes. yes. All right. So, uh, then there is uh, another uh, modification on it uh, for other metabolisms as well. Because uh, there, is, uh, there is a methyl group is added. What is methyl group? Methyl group, I don't have marker. Somebody has marker. Yeah, this is methyl group, CH3, CH3, CH2 is methylene, etc. It's in this slide somewhere. So, uh, what is there? Uh, the methyl group is added on number 5 of the glutamate. Number 5 of the 
uh, 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 of the folic acid. I am showing you where is number 5. And if the methyl group is added on number 5, it is N5 methyl tetrahydrofolate. There is number 5. I will show you where is number 5. So if the methyl group is added at number 5, what will the name of folic acid? N5, N5 methyl tetrahydrofolate. And if, uh, if there is N10, if the methyl group is at the 10, then it is called N10 methyl tetrahydrofolate. So they are very active forms. Sometimes together, then we call N5, N10 methyl tetrahydrofolate. Okay? I told you if there is a methyl group on the folic acid, at which position? Five, okay. five position, it is called N5 methyl tetrahydrofolate. And if there is a methyl group on number 10, then N10. And if they, if together, if there are two methyls, one at number 5 and one at number 10, N5, N10 methyl tetrahydrofolate. Very good people. Okay. This is the same story, methotrexate, what I have told you. All right. So uh, the, the, uh, before I told, uh, tell you anything, uh, uh, let's see where is. This is number five. This is number five. If methyl group is here, then it is N5. This is number 10. If methyl group is here, then it is N10. N10. If there are both, then N5 and N10 uh, glutamate. Okay. So it's a very, very important molecule. As I told you, it's not only cancer. It is, uh, it's a lot of things uh, it does. The methyl group is needed for many biological reactions in our body for metabolism. Okay? So what happens? This molecule, I mean N5 or N10 or both, they attach methyl group with it and deliver or give to other molecules for metabolism for metabolic functions. Okay? This group, methyl or methylene group, is also attached with N5 or N10 and it gives to the other molecules for metabolic reactions. Like this. All these formamino group are hydroxyl methyl or formyl or methylyl. They are very much essential for metabolic functions. For metabolic functions. How they are transferred? They attach with <coughs> folic acid. And then folic acid gives these molecules to the other molecules to be used in the metabolic functions. Metabolic functions. So here you will only remember that one carbon group is transferred. These are all carbon groups. You can see carbon, 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 carbon. How many carbons? Here one carbon, one carbon, one carbon, one carbon, one carbon, and one carbon. So one carbon is one carbon molecules are transferred are transferred to other molecules by folic acid by folic acid how it transfers it binds then methyl group is bind with n5 methyl group is bound at the number 10 so the the folic acid then transfer this methyl group to the other molecules and what what is the function then it is used in the metabolic functions. What is the function of folic acid? It transfers methyl group to the other molecules. To the other molecules and uh, for what? Used for for metabolic functions. So it uh, uh, transfers uh, one carbon from methyl? Yeah. Uh, one carbon, uh, you will uh, uh, you, uh, you forget all this, you will write only that one carbon by our teeth. That lead to convert the molecule. Yeah. One carbon. We have to see the spellings, but I think say one carbon moiety is transferred. E probably here. Yeah. One carbon I am not sure about spelling, but I think this is uh, one carbon moiety is uh, transferred by folic acid to the other molecules for metabolic functions. Clear? Yes. So 
Victor, uh, folic acid is like a carrier. Oh, uh, yes, 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 carrier. One carbon will be get it. Okay? So this, this slide was only to tell you where is N5 and where is N10. Um, forget this slide. Victor? Otherwise. Uh, just, just confused here. Folic acid transfer the carbon from methyl to other... No, no, no. Methyl group is attached with folic acid. Okay. Then it gives to the other molecules. Gives the carbon to the other molecules. To, to the other molecules. Okay. For example, uh, I will see, show you the examples here. Yes, uh, for example, there is a serine. There is a serine. Serine is what? It is amino acid. It is amino acid. You see here, serine has uh, CH2. Serine has CH2. Serine has CH2. Alright? But if we remove this CH2, the molecule becomes glycine. Molecule becomes glycine. What, what I say? This is what? Serine. Glycine is also a amino acid. Only difference is methyl group. Only difference is methyl group. Where is methyl group? Here. If we transfer this methyl group from here, then if we remove this, then what will be the molecule? Glycine. Glycine. Then what will be the molecule? Glycine. Okay. So when we remove this methyl group, where this methyl group will go? This cannot be cannot be, I mean, rumoring about uh, in the blood, methyl group, cannot be. So, we remove methyl group from serine, what, the, what will be the molecule? Glycine. Glycine. Where this methyl group will go? This methyl group will go to the folic acid. This methyl group will go to the folic acid. Now, your body needed glycine, your body needed glycine more. My, my body, I need more glycine. So what will happen? So what? Many many molecules of uh, this methyl group was removed, was removed, and I will get glycine. Now my body needs serine. My body needs serine. So from where this methyl group comes? From the folic acid. Because when we remove from here, where it goes? It goes to the folic acid. And when we need more glass, uh, serine. Then what will happen? Methyl, uh, folic acid will give this methyl again to the glycine, and the molecule will become serine. Like this. Can can you see here? Yeah. Here is a serine. Serine. We removed methyl group. What it becomes? Glycine. Glycine. Okay. Glycine. And if we add methyl group, then it becomes serine. Only difference is, only difference is uh, methyl group. If we if we remove methyl group, the molecule is glycine. If we add the methyl group, methyl uh, the, the molecule is serine. Methyl group is serine. You see here, we removed, removed, removed. Then serine becomes glycine. And if we add in the glycine, then it again becomes serine. It's a, it's a, the, 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 it's like this. This is what? This is like, uh, the, 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 this is what? Serine. Serine. Okay? We remove. This is what? Glycine. Glycine. You need more serine. Now we add that. Methyl group. So it becomes? Serine. 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 Okay? So this methyl group was first goes to folic acid. Then folic acid gives back to the to the glycine and it becomes serine. Yeah. Uh, N5 and N10 methyl group, it will be already uh, bound to the folic acid. So yeah. uh, after yeah. after removing the methyl group, where they can where yeah. they can for example for example there is no no uh, methyl group here. It takes from serine. It takes from serine. Then it will be N5 and N10. For example, there is no, the, nothing, not, not N5, not N10. Methyl group comes, from where methyl group comes? From the serine. And it attaches at number 5. Then this molecule will guard N5 methyl tetrahydrofolate. N, N5, because there is no methyl group in the folic acid. First, okay? You said it, uh, it remains attached to the folic acid. 
No, 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 I did not say this. I said that it takes from the, from the other molecules, from the other molecules. Normally, there is no methyl group. From where this uh, take uh, methyl group from the other molecules, as, as from the serine. So, where it takes from the serine, for example, there is no N5N10, there is no methyl, there is only tetrahydrofolate, for example. So, it methyl group comes from the serine, it attaches here, N5. So, the molecule will be called N5 methyl tetrahydrofolate. Initially, what was the molecule? Tetrahydrofolate. From where this methyl comes? Serine. From serine. So, when methyl group comes, the molecule will call N5 methyl tetrahydrofolate. For example, two serine molecules give two methyls. Then it is N5, N10 methyl tetrahydrofolate. It takes methyl group. Initially, there is no methyl group in it. When it takes methyl group, the methyl group will attach at number 5 or number 10. Okay, if it is uh, attached at number 5, we will call it N5 tetrahydrofolate. Alright, so this is uh, the this story. So, no, the glycine is used in metabolism. Yeah, glycine is used in metabolism, serine is used in metabolism. The, two, the folic acid is not about uh, transferring uh, carbon from one molecule to other. To so other. Converting. Yeah, yeah, this is the, 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 the second function. First function we, we, uh, we, we told you just to inhibit the, uh, the, 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 just to make DNA cells. I mean, it's not only that we are inhibiting, we are inhibiting cancer cells. So how our normal cells will divide? How our normal cells will divide? Our normal cells need DNA synthesis. So if there is no folic acid, there is no DNA, and our normal cells will not be divided. Okay? What are these? Hairs. Hairs are what? Cells. It needs a DNA synthesis. And DNA synthesis needs folic acid. If there is a no folic acid, there will be no DNA, there will be no hair growth. Huh? Okay? No, but about this one, the uh, transferring of carbon, not already to, to, to already found the molecule. It's converting uh, after transfer of carbon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it takes from one. If, uh, normally, there is no methyl group on the folic acid. Mm -hmm. Remember. Okay? Normally, there is no glycine uh, till uh, conversion. Yeah, it's not. I have given you one example. Mm -hmm. It is only one example. There are hundreds of molecules mm -hmm. from where it takes methyl and it gives to other hundred molecules. Amino acid and other molecules. Uh, amino acid, maybe other proteins and maybe carbohydrates. Okay. So many other molecules. This is only one example I have given. All right. Okay, this is for purine synthesis. I have already told you. Uh, what, what is the problem? Tell the problem the, uh, is there is the two molecules or only one that converting after transferring of carbon? Uh, uh, there, are, there will be two serine and glycine at the same time attached to the uh, folic acid. No, no. The, uh, I mean, uh, for example, uh, for example, the, uh, 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 I'm uh, buying my mobile. Mm -hmm. There must be shopkeeper, or there must be some solid from uh, from whom I'm uh, I'm buying this uh, mobile. So there, there must be must be a source. And there must be a person who is using it. For example, I'm taking mobile from him. I cannot take mobile from the from the Sahara, from jungle, from uh, from uh, from desert. I cannot take mobile. I need Saleh or maybe shopkeeper, maybe you, maybe him, maybe anybody else. So there should be a source from with from whom I should take mobile. And then who will use the mobile? I will use the mobile. So there should be two molecules from which. Folic acid will take methyl group and it will transfer this methyl group to the others. No, it so is only carrier, carrier of the methyl group. Glycine is already found. Glycines are, a lot of molecules of glycine in our body. Lot of molecules of serine in our body. Thousands of molecules of glycine in our body. Thousands molecules of serine in our body. But, but Allah has to take, uh, make balance. You need more glycine, more removal of methyl group. You need more glycine, uh, you, you need more serine, more addition of methyl group. So this is one example only. 
or right, this is for all convergence uh, you, if you want this is for your knowledge not for the for this is for the exam <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is uh, another uh, a very good example. Uh, we 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 don't uh, para minor PABA, PABA. We we don't uh, we don't synthesize it. Remember my yeah. first uh, slide. Mm -hmm. We don't synthesize it, but bacteria synthesize it. What? Bacteria, bacteria, oh, yeah. bacteria. So when we 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 want to kill the bacteria, we take uh, sulfonylamide that is antibiotic. Mm -hmm. This is very very similar to this. So we cheat bacteria. Yeah. We cheat bacteria to give uh, to give him sulfonylamide. Mm -hmm. We we cheat bacteria. When we we, we give uh, bacteria sulfonylamide, bacteria thinks that it is PABA. So a, a bacteria takes this. When it takes this. So it is destroyed. There is no DNA synthesis. There is no cell division. Okay, so uh, this is uh, for the DNA synthesis and then uh, uh, the red cells. If we, we don't make uh, DNA synthesis, then uh, there, there is a no DNA synthesis, then there will be no mature RBCs. Then there will be no mature RBCs and the size of RBCs will be big size of RBCs will be big. That is called megaloblastic cells. Megaloblastic cells. And the anemia caused due to this, due to the deficiency of folic acid, is called megaloblastic anemia. Megaloblastic anemia. What, why, why, what is megaloblastic? There is, now, listen, scenario. There is no folic acid. There is no folic acid. A deficiency of folic acid. So it means there is no DNA synthesis in the red cells. There is no DNA synthesis in the red cells. Red cells will not be mature. When they will not be mature, their size will be bigger. Their size will be bigger. So but their membrane will be very, very yes. fragile. But we don't have DNA in the red cells. We have no... Uh, you mean in stem cells before there is Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, that is why, why they are called hemopoietic DNA. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I thought you know that. Oh, okay. So <laughs> it's there. When we, when there is a, when there is a no, uh, so no folic acid, folic acid, DNA synthesis will be stopped and uh, there will be no mature uh, uh, RBCs. Their size will be bigger. Their membrane will be fragile. So they will break frequently. They will break a lot, then there will be anemia. Which anemia is called? Megaloblastic anemia. How much time we left? Uh, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Good, good, good. So, the, the, these are the functions of, uh, yeah, same. We give it, uh, at the start of the pregnancy, folic acid must. Folic acid is must if you want to get pregnant, not you, I mean, <laughs> wife, wife, or in England, girlfriend. Okay? There, are, uh, there are more legitimate uh, children there uh, than the legitimate. I mean, uh, the ratio is now 10 is to 1. Okay? Ten illegitimate children and one legal children, <laughs> and there are the, the illegitimate children has more right, more right. Mm -hmm. Yes, they have got more facilities as compared to the legal one. Okay. Well, anyway, that is different story. But if you, if she wants to, if the girl wants to be pregnant or the woman wants to be pregnant, we give, we start giving her folic acid. But. We, we give uh, must folic acid at the start of the pregnancy. Why? Because at the 28th day of the pregnancy, neural tube is closed. Neural tube is closed. And there are many effects of the neural tube if we don't have folic acid. If we don't have folic acid. So we, we, to stop the neural uh, tube uh, uh, effects, we, we must give uh, the pregnant lady uh, folic acid. But what is the idea behind that? Because the same idea, the folic acid 
is not there, DNA synthesis will not be there. When DNA synthesis will not be there, there will be no cells. And when there will be no cells, neural tube effects will be allowed. Okay, this is uh, folic acid uh, deficiency. Why if we get uh, for folic acid deficiency, we are taking inadequate, number one. Number two, we are, we are drinker. We, 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 we take alcohol and then, oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah. Right, so there, there are a lot of deficiencies, not only folic acid, not only folic acid. So, the, 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 uh, the alcoholism caused many things, believe me. Alcoholism caused many bad things. And um, uh, I really think sometimes that these English people, they know, they are educated people, they have a lot of knowledge about it. They know that this is dangerous, but we are taking it, if we are taking it, we are damaging our liver. We are damaging many things. We are damaging many things like this. So I don't know, even then they take it. So this is called suicide. Suicide? Yes. What you call in Arabic? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> so, uh, uh, when it is uh, deficient, it is uh, inadequate take or alcohol, somebody is taking alcohol, or increased demand as in uh, pregnancy and lactation. And lactation. Why pregnancy needs demand? Because there is a fetus, it's growing fetus, and it is uh, when, when, when it is growing, the, 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 it, it needs uh, many cells. It needs many cells. And cell needs okay. DNA. And the DNA needs follicles. And uh, then, for example, you don't have any fat. You are not alcoholic. You are not uh, taking. Uh, you are taking a lot of much at the same time. You are taking contraceptive. Not you are ladies. Ladies are taking contraceptive medicine, and you are probably ladies are taking anti-convulsant drugs. That those drugs for long time, for long time, uh, put the deficiency of folic acid. Uh, this is the usual dose we need 400 microgram per day. All right, the second molecule, uh, the second vitamin is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12. It they are integrated. They are integrated. As in our blog, we are integrated. Biochemistry, inactivity, physiology, we are integrated. We, we cannot uh, survive without anatomy because uh, anatomy, anatomist will uh, tell you where is bone and what is the structure of the bone and where are the um, blood supplies and where are other things. Okay, and when it comes blood supplies, what is in the blood that will tell you the biochemistry. Okay, so we are integrated. So in our body, folic acid and vitamin B12 are vitamin B12 are integrated. So their function is integrated. Let's take first a few things about uh, the structure. The structure is, this is corin ring. This is corin ring. Corin ring, C-O-R-I-N. I don't need uh, you to learn this structure, but you should know the name. You should name, know the name. Corin ring. Uh, corin ring, this is, this is. This is a porphyrin ring, and in between, you, you, uh, have you seen the heme structure? No. There is iron. There is iron in between. Yeah. Hmm? Have you have you not seen? No, no, not yet. Not yet. Yes. Okay. Inshallah, you will see. Physiology people will tell you. So this is like that structure. In between, uh, in the middle is carbon, uh, cobalt. In the middle is cobalt, and the cobalt on one side is uh, attached with cyanide. With cyanide. Cyanide is. What is cyanide? It is uh, poison. Cyanide. Cyanide. It is a poison. What is poison called in Arabic? Yes. But it is uh, it is attached here in, in with cobalt. Cyanide. One molecule. It is attached. So one molecule does not harm us. Okay? If you take some cyanide, you know uh, there is one school here. Uh, Stata International School yeah. like this. They started A level or O level. And their principal came here. He said, I need cyanide. 
I said, I cannot give you. He, he gone to Dr. Mahir, Dr. Mahir Alimzi. He was uh, our vice president. He called me. He said, Dr. Server, give him sign. I said, sir, who will be responsible? You or me? Yes. The children will be, will be doing the experiment with sign. Who will be responsible? He said, is it dangerous? I said, it is, uh, it is a false. He said, don't give. <laughs> don't give. So, cyanide is poison, but fortunately, there is only one molecule and non-poisonous, it is attached with cobalt. It is called cyanocobal. Cyanocobalamin. It is called cyano. That is why it is called cyanocobalamin. It is cyanide group, so it is attached there. So it is called cyanocobalamin in my next slide. If we remove cyanide, if Allah remove cyanide and put methyl here, then the name will be changed. Then the name will be changed. The function will be changed. It will be methyl cobalamin. Methyl cobalamin. Okay. If we if we remove cyanide and we put OH group here, this this will be hydroxy hydroxy cobalamin. Hydroxy cobalamin. So only only one thing here. Change whole the structure. Change whole the structure and function. If there is a cyanide here, there is one function. If we remove cyanide and put methyl group here, this is methyl cobalamin. So the functions are changed. If we if we remove here, if we remove here. So, uh, uh, cyanide and put hydroxy, then it is hydroxy methyl cobalamin. So, this is the structure. Uh, I don't need you to remember this structure for the exam. Okay? So, you just uh, remember that which is the central molecule, which is the central molecule that is cobalt. That is cobalt. And cobalt is attached with cyanide. If they, we remove cyanide and put methyl group on it, that is methyl cobalamin. In presence of cyanide, it is cyanocobalamin. It is cyanocobalamin. And, uh, uh, and uh, yeah, if there is a methyl, that is methylcobalamin. In the market, in the pharmacies, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it, you can find it in methylcobalamin form. Okay, the same thing. Show the structure. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is absorption and uh, absorption and storage. It's a very interesting. Uh, if we, if we, if you have uh, some some problems in the stomach, if your stomach is uh, have been operated, or if you have some genetic disease of the stomach, if you have some other diseases of the stomach, vitamin B12 will not be absorbed. Vitamin B12 will not be absorbed. Why? You can see here. Uh, our parietal cells of gastric mucosa, parietal cells, you know, parietal cells? In the, in the gastric mucosa in the stomach. So, parietal cells, there are parietal cells in the stomach, they make intrinsic factor. They make intrinsic factor. They make intrinsic factor. But if the, if, uh, well, if there is a no uh, I mean, uh, no parietal cells, uh, no uh, parietal cells have been damaged. There will be no intrinsic factor. There will be no intrinsic factor, and this intrinsic factor is a uh, very much essential for the absorption of vitamin B12, for the absorption of vitamin B12 and the blood clotting. Okay, remember. Uh, now, how the how this uh, is uh, absorbed? There are uh, there are receptors. There are receptors in the ileum, there are receptors in the intestine. So what happens? Folic acid binds with intrinsic factor. From where this intrinsic factor comes? From the parietal cells. From the parietal cells. From the parietal cells comes the intrinsic factor, and the intrinsic factor is bind with the with the vitamin B12. It goes to the receptor through the receptor. It absorbs. It absorbs. And when it absorbs, it is taken by by uh, uh, by cobalamin, by cobalamin two, by cobalamin two. So uh, it is taken into the tissue. And one is uh, you understand me not? Okay, probably I was fast. Listen to me again. Parietal cells make intrinsic factor. Yes. Mine too. 
okay then there is a folic acid it comes uh, it, it, it comes and bind with the intrinsic factor vitamin b12 binds with the intrinsic factor through the intestine it goes to inside and uh, transcobalamin transcobalamin 2 transcobalamin 2 takes this vitamin b12 intrinsic factor is released and uh, then transcobalamin 2 takes it and uh, take it into the tissue cells into the tissue cells there is another transcobalamin 1 it takes vitamin b12 and stores in the liver and stores in the liver so uh, but what are the two roots one is that from parietal cells intrinsic factor is released okay agreed yes. okay intrinsic factor is bind with the with the, with the vitamin b12 okay then it from the uh, intestine it goes goes to the blood and then to the tissues okay who takes it intrinsic factor is removed there and who takes it into the tissue transcobalamin 2 transcobalamin 2 there is if there is two there should be one so transcobalamin 1 also binds with vitamin b12 some of it binds with the transcobalamin 2 some of it will bind with transcobalamin 1 and transcobalamin will, uh, 1 will go to the liver and store there Okay, uh, so the physiological functions. Uh, our body continuously, continuously make homocysteine. Our body continuously make homocysteine. What is homocysteine? If there is a low folic acid or if there is a low vitamin B12, homocysteine, our body makes a lot of homocysteine. A lot of homocysteine. Excess of homocysteine is dangerous for our arteries, for our for our heart. Okay, homocysteine is dangerous for what? For our heart, for our heart, for our arteries. Homocysteine. So it has to be converted back to methionine. Homocysteine is produced by many metabolisms. Homocysteine is produced, but what is what, what I said? Why why homocysteine should be converted to methionine? Because if there is a low conversion, homocysteine will damage your heart. Homocysteine will damage your arteries. Okay. So from many from many metabolic functions, we make homocysteine. We make homocysteine, and homocysteine is very dangerous and stuff for our heart, for our arteries. So it has to be converted. Into what molecule? Into methionine. Into methionine. Homocysteine has to be converted into methionine. So for methionine, you need you need uh, tetrahydrofolate. You need tetrahydrofolate in what what form? N5-methyl tetrahydrofolate. You need it. But tetrahydrofolate will not function as long as there is a no vitamin B12. So interdependent. Interdependent. Tetrahydrofolate will not function unless otherwise, unless otherwise, uh, vitamin B12 is present. Methyl cobalamin. What is methyl cobalamin? It is vitamin B12. Yes, yes. It is vitamin B12. So, the story is a very main story in vitamin B12 that in from many metabolic functions we make homocysteine. We make homocysteine. And uh, homocysteine must be converted into what? Into methionine. Why? Because if we don't convert, it will damage our heart, it will damage our arteries. So it has to be converted into methionine. That is why they are saying that uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, young people should take folic acid as well. Because, because that protects you from this homocysteine. Okay? So homocysteine, from where this homocysteine comes? From metabolic, from many metabolisms, it is dangerous for your heart and for your intestine. All right, and homocysteine must be converted into methionine. And for this conversion, what we need? We we need folic acid. We need folic acid. But folic acid alone will not work. Folic acid alone will not work. What it needs? Vitamin B12. Vitamin B12. Good. So. Um, Folic acid is essential for us? 
Yeah. yeah, we should take. You should take one tablet, maybe uh, alternative days. All right, so this is the same function that this is methyl group uh, uh, for folate, uh, folic acid, and this is homocysteine, must be converted into methionine. Methionine, and uh, it, uh, as a coenzyme, we need vitamin B12 here. All right, there is another function. There is another function of uh, vitamin B12, vitamin B12 as a coenzyme. Uh, in our in our muscles, we have uh, we have uh, from where we get energy from glucose and fatty acids from glucose and fatty acids. We we get more energy from fatty acids. Yes. All right. So how we get energy? Fatty acid. You have you studied beta oxidation? Yeah. yeah. So fatty acid is converted to one molecule of acetyl CoA, acetyl CoA, acetyl CoA, acetyl CoA. Okay. Then acetyl CoA goes to PCA cycle and gives you energy. All right. So if there is a, there is a no vitamin B12, so this enzyme that there is no vitamin B12 here, so it will not be converted into succinyl CoA, and the succinyl CoA will not go to citric acid, will not give you energy, will not give you energy. So you have you you will have weakness of your muscles. You will have weakness of your muscles. Why weakness? Because fatty acid oxidation is not completed. Fatty acid oxidation is not completed without vitamin B12. So there are two functions now of vitamin B12. What? One is uh, homocysteine and the second is muscle energy, fatty acid oxidation. All right, so the deficiency, uh, deficiency if the, this is deficiency, if the same happens, there is no DNA synthesis, so the red blood cells have a membrane which is fragile and it is a very big size. This is also called megaloblastic anemia, but if the, 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 there is two things now, if there is a true deficiency of folic acid, if there is a deficiency of folic acid, we will call anemia megaloblastic anemia. If there is a deficiency of vitamin B12, this is a megaloblastic anemia, but it will call pernicious anemia. Pernicious. So there is a there is a difference between megaloblastic anemia and pernicious anemia. What? Pernicious anemia is a megaloblastic anemia. Pernicious anemia is a megaloblastic anemia, but megaloblastic anemia is caused by the deficiency of folic acid. Pernicious anemia is caused by the deficiency of vitamin B12. Vitamin B12. Yes, vitamin B12. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, the same. The size is same. Megaloblastic. Pernicious, pernicious anemia is also called megaloblastic anemia. But what is the difference? Megaloblastic anemia is due to the deficiency of folic acid, and uh, pernicious anemia is the deficiency of vitamin B12. Okay, so there is a neurological, uh, due to the deficiency, uh, there is a uh, uh, myelin sheet. Myelin sheet will not be uh, synthesized, but there will be defects in myelin sheet. Uh, if there is a deficiency of vitamin B12, there is a defect in spinal cord, and there will be peripheral neuritis and uh, homocysteinuria. Homocysteinuria, I have already told you if there is a deficiency of vitamin B12. So there are four points here. Myelin sheet, myelin sheet, uh, neural tubes, spinal cord, and uh, spinal cord and peripheral neuritis, and at the end homocysteinuria. These are the deficiency of vitamin B12. Uh, this is the causes of uh, deficiency. Uh, we, we are not taking vitamin B12 as the vegetarians. Otherwise, uh, if you are, you don't have any trouble with your stomach, it is stored in your body for three to five years. If you don't take vitamin B12, it will go on for three to five years. It is stored. 
three to five years. But if you have that be a, uh, a problem in the intrinsic factor, which is released from where? From the peritoneal uh, uh, cells. Yeah. 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 I also forgot. Peritoneal <laughs> <laughs> cells. So 